Yo, what is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another JC2K video. In today's video, we're gonna be doing gameplay with the brand new Invincible Devin Booker. In my opinion, this D-Book on paper, a little disappointing. I'll be completely honest and I'll explain why as we progress through this video. Doesn't mean he's not gonna be one of the more fun 300s to use in the game. Y'all know how cheesy D-Book's fade has been, especially early in the year. Everybody was glitching with that Diamond D-Book, Amethyst D-Book, even in season one. He was one of the best shot creators in the entire game and just a really fun overall card to use. So um, definitely a card with a lot of potential who can be really, really fun offensively. But I think as a whole, he'll be a little limited compared to some of the best of the best cards at the PG spot in my team at this point so before we hop into the video if you haven't already make sure you hit that subscribe button help me push towards the 30,000 subscriber mark on the channel i upload every single day would really appreciate it if y'all do subscribe without further ado let's hop right into it so uh i mean stat wise obviously it's all 99 and that's gonna make him a great card the thing about this card is that just like his invincible they didn't change any of his animations that's what that's what confuses me because stats and badges are obviously exceptional as with every single invincible card basically a perfect card no important badges that aren't on hoff and obviously perfect stats but he's 6'5 at PG, which is not tiny, but it's certainly not super tall either. And you combine that with, I mean, his own dribble style, which is D-Book's dribble style. Got a great push cross, but it's not an elite level dribble style in terms of um, in terms of its behind, in terms of its uh, burst, I should say. And then you look at this, his SIGs, and I mean, his escape isn't great. They still gave him his own escape, and his escape isn't all that good. And then he, I mean, D-Book fade is great, and I'm totally fine with him having his own fade, especially because it's really smooth and easy. I mean, D-Book's fade is exceptional, has been all year i really like it but it's just not enough his behind the back is bad and his escape is bad he's only 6'5 at pg and it's just like at this point in the year you are comparing this debug card to cards with every single sig being perfect who are six foot eight i mean not to mention the seven foot plus point guards that you can run in this game who also by the way have better dribble sigs than this debug does like that's just I don't know. It's a little backwards and it wouldn't be hard for them to give him. I mean, if you want to keep the debug dribble style, give him a better escape, give him a better uh, behind the back. And you're looking at a much better card because animation wise, he's very fun. His release is awesome. His fade is very, very good as well. It's not that he's a bad card. He's going to be fun to use the 300 still. He's just not going to be as good as he could have been. And that is my main question. Disappointment, honestly. Shout out to my boy Shadow, though. Uh, JJJ, JJG for letting me use his account to record this gameplay. Really appreciate that a lot. Without further ado, let's hop right into it. Let's hoop with debug. All right, hopping into this game. Let's see what we are going up against. Uh, why does that say Amethyst Shack? Hello? Is this dude, why are you have Amethyst Shack out here? He's got, okay, Dark Matter Alonzo. The rest of this team looks fine, but why is Amethyst Shack on the court? Is that Scott, Dark Matter Scotty Barnes, Mo Bamba? Um, I don't know who he has at shooting guard, but as a whole, this team doesn't look awful, but very strange to see a sapphire center or not a sapphire an amethyst center at this point in the year good defense by d book get through the screen get low oh he's gonna get a dunk isn't he yep he got around me and yeah i'm just moving in in molasses right now not able to get ourselves a stop but let's run the floor here d book stop in front um go this way beautiful now reject this stop i could low-key have shot that the thing about the d book push cross into his fade is that it just creates so much separation um and there you go that's a wide open three d book drills it and that's an easy bucket starting us off well with an assist and a three ball already uh, not a bad start to the game whatsoever Let's play in front of Mobamba, not give up anything well he threw it over my head after i reached he waited out the reach he did a good job of that so i respect that drive the ball here d book stop same reject Ooh, nice move good shot i gotta cream those slightly early that's not an easy shot at all and unfortunately we're not able to hit that one that time but it is what it is get out the corner okay is that ron holland I don't even know who that is, to be completely honest. But not a great start to this game, I wouldn't say by me. Uh, tie ball game at 6-6. Six, six. Reject the screen again. Fade, pro two. Or not pro two. Why do I keep saying pro two? That is a Devin Booker's a fade, obviously. And I shoot a slightly early again somehow. That did not feel slightly early that time. Is that going to be a contest? That is going to be a contest. Good job defensively. Get back out. Running on the floor again some more. D-book, catch, shoot. D-book, green. Okay, hello. What in the world? Are his animations just slower than I remember? Because, like... I missed the fade early twice, and then I missed the catch and shoot early. Or I'm on the wrong shot time. I don't think I'm on the wrong shot timing. I'm pretty sure this is right. So I just, I should be able to green. Plain and simple. I'm not green and I should be able to green. Not starting this game off very well offensively. Um, but again, D-Book, I mean, at the end of the day, his flaw is not offensively. Good defense right there, but his flaw is still, it's the defensive end a little bit, and then it's also obviously just the, uh, the lack of good move, good shot. That's beautiful. Yo! Okay, maybe I am on the wrong shot timing because that one did not feel slightly early at all. 
maybe I am because that's confusing honestly pull up midi that's not an easy shot trying to hit a small window tight shot we are all of a sudden just missing everything fade from the mid-range D book drills that one goodness gracious what a tough few possessions that was we scored on that one and D book needs to get back on the defensive end of the court get through the screen he's wide open I'm not going to get there in time good shot Good shot. I respect it. Nice burst. Good shot. This dude's not a bad player, despite have randomly having Amethyst Shaq on his team. As a whole, he seems like a very solid player. So hop step through. D-Book created some separation there, but isn't able to get the layup to go anyway. Come on. Good. Oh, my gosh. Tim Duncan make a play. Catch in the corner. Um, same side. Reject the screen. Pull up. D-Book from the mid-range. Drills that one. I don't know why I was missing so much to start this off, but we've gotten a couple in a row to go, and um, hopefully we can keep that going. Watch the dribble drive here. Cut that off. Good defense. Yep. Um, stay here. Down low. Come contest yeah why are we just getting ran around i don't even know bro glenn rice played no defense at all on that possession catch it here same side has he attack up the court a fat stop in front pull up d book is that bad offense it's not really bad offense i feel like i don't know that's annoying but i don't feel like that was bad offense by me by any means um just gotta make the shots you know what i mean like it's just an inability to shoot right now is kind of the thing that i feel like more than anything else is kind of killing me we'll take the free throws here we're up to what seven points about to be nine after these free throws but i still feel like we're struggling i mean efficiency wise for sure definitely struggling big time on the efficiency and just overall not having the success that i want to um as a whole right now with this card i just eesh, his animations just aren't where they need to be anymore you know what i mean early in the year his animations were some of the best in the game but that's when no cards have good animations at this point it's just like there's no reason to use a card like dbook i feel like when there's nine thousand other point guard options that honestly most of them at least at a very minimum move better than he does and his fate is good but it just matters less at this point in the year with these cards you know what i'm saying that's all i'm saying uh stop hit our slip and Yao is inside a shack gets a dunk to go we'll take our assist d books kind of gas now as well if he had a better escape better behind the back i would pretty clearly be much higher on this card but he just doesn't and that's like kind of an issue so i don't know i just not a not the biggest fan of this card to be honest he's disappointing uh, as an invincible i feel like he could have been a lot better just with a changed escape and a couple other changed animations he does have sharp take though get he got around the screen but he can't keep lonzo on his hip little undersized doesn't feel unbelievable defensive animation wise just not quite what you're looking for with a card at this point in the year stop dump down to yao i could easily take that but we're going to reset it because it's not a yao gameplay it's a d book gameplay and he does a good job defensively there and then why are you cutting timmy damn timmy d that just doesn't even make any sense all right well got to get a stop um, and I don't think we got to stop Ron Holland. Oh my goodness. Apparently we did. I did not think that was going to be a heavy at all, but apparently, uh, that works. Stop. Reject this. Go this way. D book fade. Come on. D book. That's a bro. Am I just bad or like, what is going on? I feel like I'm almost, uh, I don't even know, dude. It's just, uh, just not what you're looking for as an overall game here. Honestly, just too many missed open shots missing with takeover. Maybe I'm just bad, but it just this has been a disappointing game as a whole. I feel like I have not executed very well, but um, I just don't love love D book either. So reject this double escape pull up. That's contested, isn't it? Ah, uh, We lose. You know what? It is what it is. It, it definitely is what it is. What are you going to do? Um, chase down block here. No, no chase down. He passes it out. Lame but he's going to hold ball. It is what it is. You live just not my best game at all. Didn't play particularly well. And D-Book's animations just are not where I expected them to be. Nine points, one rebound, two assists, one steal, three of 14, one of eight from three is really, really bad. But I just don't, I don't see it with this card like at all. I just do not see it at this point in the year with a card like this. I don't know. Just my opinion. Hope y'all did enjoy the video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button, leave a comment and subscribe. I'll be back with more 2K content very, very soon. I appreciate y'all. Peace.